Hi, my name is Paul Grogan, and in this Gaming Rules video, I'm going to be giving you an overview of The Prodigals Club, published by Czech Games Edition in 2015. The Prodigals Club is a secret fraternity of young English gentlemen who have everything they could possibly want – money, political power and friends. But despite this, they're really bored with their lives, so they decide to get together and have a little fun. They compete against each other to try and get rid of all their possessions, lose their votes and anger the most influential people in high society. The one who does this the best will win the game. The Prodigals Club comes with three different competitions. Possessions, where you're trying to get rid of everything of value that you own. Society, where you go around offending upper class people. And the election, where you're doing your best to stop people voting for you. The game is played with any two of these competitions, or if you're up for the challenge, you can play with all three, meaning that there are four different ways to play the game out of the box. But that's not all. If you own Last Will, also published by CGE, you can combine the two games together for even more possibilities. More details on this later. At the end of the game, each player will have a score in every competition, and the highest of these is their final score. Now in most board games it's the player with the highest score that wins, not in the Prodigals Club. The winner of the game is the one with the lowest final score. So it's no good simply trying to lose all of your possessions if you end the game with lots of votes. Each round is divided into six phases. Phase 1 is where you set up each board by dealing cards and tiles onto the relevant spaces. Phase 2 is the errand phase where players take it in turns to place their errand boys onto an available errand space and carry out the action there. Once all errands have been performed, phase 3 is where each player has an action phase and they get to play cards from their hand. Phase 4 is Hyde Park, which only happens if you're playing with the elections competition. And similarly, phase 5 is Dame Beatrice, which is only used when playing with the society competition. Finally, Phase 6 is changing the turn order and clearing the boards ready for the next round. This is usually performed by the player who likes to keep things tidy. Each of the competitions has its own set of cards, and there's also a special deck of cards for the central board, depending upon which competitions you're using. There are two types of cards in the Prodigals Club, white bordered and black bordered. The white cards are played, have a one-off effect and are then discarded, whereas the black cards are played onto your player board and have a lasting effect on the game. A number of the cards work well when combined together, so it's important to note that you don't have to play the cards on the round that you get them, you can save them in your hand and you only discard down to four cards at the end of the round. Patience really is a virtue. The cards have a variety of abilities. This card for example is from the society competition and means that you've been out for afternoon tea where you behave inappropriately. When you play it, it allows you to move all pink markers that are in the same row down two spaces. And this card represents that you instruct your personal cab driver to insult your voters. It can be activated once per round and loses you one vote for each carriage symbol you have. When playing with the possessions competition, you start with some money and a set of tiles representing valuable things that you own in London. Each tile shows the type of possession it is, how much it's worth and which borough of London it's in. During the game, you will have the opportunity to exchange your tiles for ones on the game board of a lower value. For example, this errand space allows you to trade this mansion for this horse, effectively losing you £3. You will also need to get rid of your possessions in order to go bankrupt, and the money you get for selling them is modified by the position of the market price indicator. For example, if you've got lots of things in Camden, then selling them when the indicator is here means that they're worth one less than their printed value. Bargain. The election competition is all about losing your votes as quickly as you can, by doing things that politicians probably shouldn't do, but you're going to do them anyway. There are many ways to lose votes. Activating this card, for example, loses you one vote for each cutlery symbol you have. This represents that you have reserved tables at a number of restaurants, giving you more chance to upset the voters. The more restaurants you have, the more votes you lose. 
Remember the tiles from the possessions competition? Each of them has a symbol. If you have the tile, you have that symbol. There is also a way to get more symbols through politics using the political circle tiles. You start the game with one of these, and as you get more during the game, you join them together like this. Once you join two matching sides, you complete the circle, and this gives you one symbol. In this example, when you activate the dinner reservation card, you lose three votes. Two for your possession tiles, and one more from the political circle. When playing with the election, there is a Hyde Park phase after the actions phase. All players take the stand and give a speech about their terrible political ideas. The player with the most megaphone symbols gives the loudest speech and loses the most votes. The players with the quietest speech actually gain a vote because those voters have to vote for someone. In the society competition, you have influence with four people in high society two men and two women. Your score in this competition is the sum of the positions of these four markers, representing how much these people like you. By performing errands and playing cards, you're trying to move these markers down and thus lose your influence. If you upset people enough, it's even possible to make people really dislike you and move into negative figures. <laughs> With the society competition, there's also an extra phase after players have taken their actions where the Dame Beatrice tile gets evaluated. For example, this tile moves all markers in the two rightmost columns on your scoreboard up one space. You can prevent this from happening by sending one of your errand boys to this space. You manage to manoeuvre Dame Beatrice away from the people in high society so they don't hear the stories about what a nice young man you are. The central board is used in every game but has a different deck of cards on it depending upon which competitions you're using. The errand spaces here allow you to change your position in turn order for the next round, and you also take one of the bonus tokens which you use during your action phase. This errand space allows you to take the Renaissance Man tile, which gives you two of any one of the symbols for that round. Remember, these symbols do nothing on their own, but make other cards better. The game ends after five rounds, or at the end of the round in which one player reaches a score of zero in one of the competitions. As mentioned earlier, you score in each of the competitions individually, and your final score is the highest of these. So if you're playing with the possessions and the elections competition, and you win the game with one pound and four votes, your score is four. And remember, it's the player with the lowest score that wins the game. As mentioned earlier, if you own Last Will, you can combine the two games together. Last Will replaces the Possessions competition, giving you an additional three ways to play the game. Society and Last Will, Elections and Last Will, or Society and Elections and Last Will. Only the top half of the central board is used, because turn order is handled as per the rules for Last Will, and each player chooses a plan for the day. Cards from Last Will still require actions to play, whereas cards from the Prodigals Club don't. Black bordered cards must be placed onto the relevant player board. Symbols from Last Will cards do contribute towards the effect of cards from the Prodigals Club. Remember, you're still playing the Prodigals Club, so your score in Last Will is just one of the competitions. I hope you found this video useful in giving you an overview of the rules for the Prodigals Club. I'm off to get drunk, insult the Queen, and then I'm going to go to Hyde Park to tell everybody about my new taxation policy on men with beards. Take care, and thanks for watching.